Okay, I think they need to hire a woman to go in there in the NFL and fix some things. I agree. Because what would you fix? That. That. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to The Read Option, episode two. It's presented by Good Time Media, the show where sports lo- lovers learn how to read and book lovers learn about balls. Is that <laughs> We're workshopping the intro. You're totally going to cut that and put it on TikTok. I mean, this whole show should be on TikTok. It's just, we want the show to... I know, but you know when you make those little clips to like... promote, like to- <laughs> Those little tiny little clips? Yeah, you, the show? Great start. Great start. Episode two. Hello, everyone. Uh, Welcome back. Thank you for watching episode one. I'm Wyatt. I'm Jenna. And uh, today we are going to do quite a bit of uh, things. Get ready for the NFL season, which is right around the corner. Starts in four days. And we got some three days. Thursday. Monday. Oh, my gosh. Today's Monday. We're recording on Monday. Yeah. So right around the corner. Happy Labor Day. Wyatt's making me work. Happy Labor Day. (laughs) That's... (laughs) Sorry. Um, but yeah, so let's get into it. The, we're going to start off with... I feel like yours is so much louder. I feel like I have to hold it right here. I can, maybe okay. I just talk louder. Okay. I'll hold it. Is this okay? If I hold it here? Yep. You're okay with that? Yeah. Um, all right. Idea I had to start off each show. Uh, we don't have a name for this for the segment yet, but basically we're going to have a top five list regarding the other person's topic. So I'm going to have a top five list. Uh, covering books, literature, any type of reading. I'm going to get creative with it because each week you run out of ideas. Um, <laughs> but I'm starting off hot this week. This feels like a list that needed to be made. It's, oh, wait, I don't know what it is. You don't know what it is. And we'll see if you can guess some of them. It's top five books that I've read start to finish. Oh, God. there's It's going to be like Wuthering Heights from high school. I don't know school. what that is. We read it in high school. I did, I've never read that. Wuthering I've, Heights? We did not. I was in. I was as well. I, we did not read that. Okay. Were you HL? Yeah. Never read that. Do you think I'm stupid? No, I, I. That's okay. why I whispered it. I wasn't trying to. <laughs> wasn't trying to cause a scene. Uh, but these are top five books that I've read start to finish. Okay. We'll start off honorable mentions. I'm looking it up, by the way. Okay. Honorable mentions: The Great Gatsby. The reason it's an honorable mention. Why have you read that? For high school, we read that. One of us was in the we dumb had class. Different teachers. One of us no, was in the I dumb class. No, I had Mrs. Horn. And we're not going to have this argument. Didn't you have Mrs. Horn? Yeah. Okay, so I guess I did read it. We just are forgetting. But I had st- stubs for this book for The Great Gatsby. Okay. One of us was in the dumb class. It's okay. No. But it sounds like I just had. I'm not saying both who. Ta- I I'm had not it. saying who. You're assuming who. <clears throat> the Great Gatsby. The reason it's an honorable mention is because I for sure did not read this entire book. The, I 100% skipped a I'm couple I'm remembering of this now. Okay. I remember reading this. Okay, welcome. Welcome to the no. top of the class. No. Um, Great Gatsby's on my list. I did not finish the book. Sorry, Mrs. Stubbs. I definitely watched the movie and I uh, skipped a couple that pages, count. chapters. So, yeah, it didn't make my list. Honorable mention. Okay. Other honorable mention is the Bible. So... That is tough because I'm sure there's small parts of it. I have never read it cover to cover, but obviously gospel readings, everything. I've probably consumed a majority of it, but I can't confirm. I've read every single word. Do you know why you haven't? Why? Because Cutting that one. (laughs) Cutting that one. You guys can take some wild guesses on what you just said there. Pass it up. Oh yeah, that was a layup for you. Um, all right, let's get into the list. Let's just okay. let's hop for it. Number oh five. God, I thought we already did. You were just talking was... for like five minutes. We don't have to do the list. Sorry, I'm a little hungover. Any... And I get a little mean when I'm a little hungover. Yeah, okay. uh, five books. Any guesses on what could be on this list? I did guess one. Withering Heights. Not and that's on when the you list. All right, let's that. just do it. Number five, Tale of Despero. Oh, that's a good one. It's a great book. Little mouse running yep. around. Good one. Read that. Is that- Elementary or middle? Third or fourth grade. Okay. I read this one for pleasure. This was not for school. Oh, I, I think I read it at school, but apparently I don't know because I was in the dumb class. Yeah. Apparently. Well, I never said you. I said one of us was. You're assuming things. You would never say that you were. 
Keep going. I didn't say either of us. The Tale of Despero. Tale of Despero, Despero number five. Number four, Change of Pace here, Lord of the Flies. We read that in high school. Read that one in high school. Um, Number three, and then there were none. A little Agatha Christie. I read this in seventh grade, Murder Mystery. This book rocks. Agatha Christie, sneaky goat of authors. Okay. Love Agatha Christie. Only read this book. I was going to say after the but one love book Agatha read. Christie. Love her work. work. <laughs> well, she did uh, Death on the Nile. She did. These are all movies. Well. <laughs> but she wrote the book that's the movie's based on. Yeah. Uh, number two, we have Hunger Games. Yeah. It's a great book. Yep. Uh, that's a series. Yeah, that leads me straight into number one, which is Hunger Games Catching Fire. <laughs> Catching Fire is better you, than the original. You didn't read the other ones? No, I did. just didn't crack the top five. Oh. I don't like the... I'm well, sorry. I thought those were just five books you've read. No, the five books. Okay. Might be. Okay. There's a few that didn't make the list, but okay. Hunger Games have the top two spots. Those movies are... Catching Fire is the better movie, and maybe I... I haven't read the books in... How long is that? Seventh grade? Sixth grade? A lot of years. So maybe I'm mixing up the movies and the books, but... You haven't read that in like 13 years. Yeah. So maybe the original Hunger Games is better than Catching Fire, but the movie Catching Fire is better than the first Hunger Games. So I'm going to say the book is better. So okay. Catching Fire is my number one. Okay. Any other gripes with my list? Other than the fact the majority of them are from high school. Is that a bad thing? No. Okay. I just don't think any of those books would have ever made my list. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Next week challenge for you i want you to do top five athlete footballs players. yeah let's do your favorite athletes just football it can be any any but the the show's about football it can be about okay fine it can be top let's do football all right top okay. five football players okay. of your favorite football players next week okay um all right you brought a little something a little show and tell today i did let's let's hop into that i brought my my beautiful ipad how much reading do you do on that 80 percent okay higher than i thought um i got this because the kindle i do the kindle app on here and i pay Mm -hmm. every month for kindle unlimited so it's like 10.99 a month and you have access to like pretty much any book you could ever want to read interesting so instead of going to the store and buying a, a hardback that's like literally $17 books are so expensive more bang for your buck yeah especially when I get in my phases where I'm reading like a book a day that's a, we need to get in one of those phases here soon yeah we do it's hard with school yeah you know, especially at the beginning of the year if we do a book a week yeah I could do that yeah. okay so what I do is I have this notes what's it what's this app called it's like notability basically and I make I have a journal of all of the books I've read this year. So what every year. Oh, so it's just like a Okay, so no. Can you hold this for me and hold it in front of my mouth? Yep. Okay. So on the first page of it is my TBR. These are the books that I want to read. My to be read. So I make a list at the beginning of the year and I Hold up, hold up. Can I say something? Yeah. T B R and to be read have the same amount of syllables. There's not really a point in making them an acronym. So at the beginning of the year, I start listing a bunch of books that I've been wanting to read and I put them on here. And obviously like it grows as the year goes on and I keep reading more. Then this is, I was telling my mom about this the other day and it blew her mind. I always get so frustrated when I can't remember if I've read a book because when you read so many, sometimes you forget, especially if it's not that great. So I've started listing each book that I read And then it has, like, if it's part of a series, when I started it, when I finished it, um, and then, like, notes about the book. So that if anybody ever asked me for a recommendation, I have, like, all the notes. And then it's kind of cool, too, because you can look back and see what books you read this year. I love that. That's so great. Well, uh, This was 2024, but I started it in 2023. I wrote a lot more notes back then. Send me some screenshots of that, and we'll put them on the screen so they can kind of get the idea. But we'll do that later. Well, and then you see the ones with the flowers. I do. Those are the ones I've read. Okay. What's number one on your TBR? Like, what do I want to read next? 
Um, Ellie just, Ellie just finished Binding 13 and she said it was really good and that's been on there. So okay. I started it, but the names are like Irish. Mm, it just threw, like threw me off. Like O'Callaghan. Threw me for a loop. No, like like real Irish. Um, Banshees of Inisherin. Like the first page of the book gives you like a what's that like a basically a, a dictionary like an irish dictionary gotcha so that like sometimes you have to go back and translate a little yeah, bit and I, I don't it's know. a lot of work it felt like too much when okay. i did it fair enough we'll uh we'll share the tbr with the people they can if they have any suggestions on... highly recommend an ipad I, so for reading i over do a Kindle. something similar like your little system there with movies where i will yeah uh, once you use I, like an excel sheet don't you yeah i do an excel sheet because then i can get super fun with it where i'm gonna do this eventually i haven't done this yet but i want to like separate them by genre yeah and then all that and so i can have different sheets for basically when people ask for movie recommendations i always am hesitant because people like different stuff yeah. people like different movies and i want to give a good recommendation because if you give a bad recommendation they will never ask you again that's true i did that with my brother once he has never asked me for movie recommendation hmm. but this way is so much more creative and fun so it, it, you- so she Okay. All right. This isn't a movie, whatever. Anyways. Um, and that's right. the difference between girls and boys. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So speaking of girls and boys, I did uh, a little bit of reading this week. Mm-hmm. So A little bit of listening. Yeah. So I was asked last week, I put on our Patreon, which you guys can still join if you're not. Thank you for all our amazing Patreon members. They asked me to read Justin Baldoni's mm-hmm. book about masculinity. Yeah. Here's the thing. I'm going to preface this. When you mentioned that Kindle Unlimited thing. Yeah. I had to. Uh, so I did a free three trial. Months free. I did a free trial. You're talking about Audible. Audible. I did a free trial of Audible. What I didn't realize under the free trial, when you have Audible, you still have to buy the book. Hmm? Yeah. So I what? I did the free trial for Audible. No, and it, 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 it probably depends on the book. I agree. Probably. Because like my Kindle Unlimited doesn't have every book like so, new releases you have to pay you have to buy it that. should it should have every book you should be able to get every book you ever want for 15 dollars a month i stand by that well, that's what i was talking about yeah. books are so expensive yeah, stupid yeah. so i did the free trial i'm like perfect i can listen to this book i had time to kill this weekend 16.99 if i wanted to listen to the book after already signing up for the free trial okay so no thank you i listened to the free sample that they gave me first five minutes and then i did so i I googled about the book and watched some interviews about the book so i did learn some things which okay um i saw do you know who noah beck is i do (laughs) so silly but he just posted about it this morning the book yeah and he was talking about how good it was it was really good so (laughs) i said it was really good the five minutes that you listened to of it were really good the first five minutes of it um it was really interesting because he's talking about masculinity and basically my takeaway just how dumb the overall term is Mm -hmm. and this is coming from like an interview he talked about so i'm stealing that not from the book but i'm sure he touches about it on the book but basically the analogy he used is if you ask someone to give you like 10 adjectives to describe masculinity you'd get what like strength Mm -hmm. uh like not emotionless but like secure Mm -hmm. or like i don't know words but it basically all the adjectives you list are the same adjectives you would use if elon musk was like i need to create a robot like army like you would instill those characteristics in those so then on the flip side if you ask the same characteristics for um like femininity is that the word Yeah, Uh, yeah yeah it would be like compassion sincerity like human qualities Mm -hmm. and that is the characteristics you would put into the robot to make it human so it basically if you're like using instilling masculinity at its like rarest or at at its truest form what people think it is you're basically creating a bunch of robots which is not healthy wow and so basically he's a deep man very deep and then he talked about this about him yeah but i mean it ends with us yeah wow He's a very thoughtful man. And basically the idea is not defining masculinity. It's undefining it. Basically saying like, this is a dumb concept Mm -hmm. to have, which was, it was really interesting. I liked it. And it went along. I've taken a few like gender studies classes and stuff in college. Yeah. If you had the book, would you read it? I would, I would like, 
I think I would one of those books where I would go through and like see certain chapters I would want to read. I definitely want to read more of it. Okay. But I don't think it's a cover to cover. If you want a birthday present. There we go. Your birthday's coming up. Birthday's coming up. I mean kind of. Month and a half. Yeah. Yeah. So I I was interested in it. It was very you could tell it was very intentional and it was something he cared about. And also writing a book has to be the hardest thing ever. Oh my God. I think about that all the time. Oh, I can't. When imagine. you've got these like TikTokers writing books sometimes, I'm like Ghost writers. They're how? not writing it. They're not. It's some guy comes over, asks you a bunch of questions, you write stuff down and they write it. Oh. I, I'm not everybody, but ghostwriting is a very, very common oh. practice, I feel like. Hmm. Especially in like autobiographies. Yeah. Those yeah, I knew that. It's like by books. Britney Spears. Yeah. It's not actually. No. Yeah, got it. Um, but yeah, I think that those were kind of my big takeaways. Did you like the genre? I don't even know what that genre is because it's just like... Uh, I do, but I can't think of what it is because I've read a few recently as well. Uh, it's like self-help sh- sh- book almost. Sh- 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 yeah, but I, no, but I mean, it's like nonfiction. Like it's uh, somewhat of a memoir. Yeah. It's like an inform. I don't know. Memoir is not the word I'm looking for. It felt for. like a TED Talk in book form. Yeah. Which is good. I like TED Talks. Yeah. I learned something from it. Um, but yeah, I, I did enjoy it. And it was funny listening to him talk. It was definitely him like reading about it. And it sounded like it was in the first person. Yeah. Where he was like, this is my I'm experience sure it was. going through the book. Um, We should read the Jeanette McCurdy book. Oh. I've heard so many good things about that book. I would actually read that. We should do that. All right. We'll add that to the list. If people want us to read that book, just let us know in the comments. Because well, I'm going to read it anyway. Okay. So <laughs> maybe when you, get, when you get it, get two copies. I'll pay you for it. Okay. And then we'll both read it. Okay. We'll add that to the list. So on those same lines of getting me to start reading more, I'm probably – I need to – I realized this about myself, some moments of reflection. I need to ease into it a little bit. Oh, for sure. So – I, there is a book I've had, and I've been reading bits and pieces here and there. I'm just going to force myself to read more. Okay. So it's uh, literally just do like 20 minutes a night. Yeah, that's what. Or I, read a I chapter know. a night. I know. I need to. It's just so hard. And w- honestly, once I start reading, I'll get into. I'll read it for like two hours. Yeah. But it's just starting. That's my problem. Is once I start, you can't stop. I, like if you go through that my list of when I've finished books, there mostly like a day really because once yeah. you're into it you can't yeah. and that's why i don't do it very much during the school year because it kind of consumes me fair enough but um but I it's i have the book about i think i've talked to you about it I, this is like the nerdiest part about me it's the mcu so like marvel cinematic universe it's ba- basically all the behind the scenes it's nonfiction. um it's behind the scenes of like how they created all these movies which i find really interesting like the casting process who was actually supposed to be there definitely your vibe yeah very much i was very interested in it so i've been reading that bits and pieces i'm like halfway through it so i need to keep reading some more but that is my challenge this week i'm going to read some of that every night so if i find interesting tidbits i will share all right enough book talk do you want to get into some football not really well we're going to okay welcome welcome to the show so as you know the nfl Football season begins in the final countdown. Yeah, on Thursday. Who's the first game? The first game is the Kansas City Chiefs, Mm -hmm. defending champs. Slay Travis Kelsey. (laughs) Took the words right out of my mouth. Exactly what I was going to say. They are playing the Baltimore Ravens. It's a rematch of the AFC Championship game. Wow. It's the semifinal. Don't. See, you can't be doing that. You can't be sarcastic. I wasn't. It's a big game. Rewind the tape. Wow. That's a big game. I don't like this. Okay, so what we're going to do. Can you get me pink headphones too? Maybe child size? Because these are really big. Done. Okay. What we're going to do, we're going to go through each division in football. There's eight of them. We're going to talk about it a little bit. Give our predictions on who's going to win. I think I could name two. What do you got? A, mm-mm. mm-mm. <laughs> one letter. No, You're I ha- think I'm wrong. Why? AFC. That's one. NFC. Those are the two conferences. Okay, okay. Divisions. Do they have names? Yes. Like the Colts are in a division. Do you know who in the, who is in the Colts division? The Bears. No. <laughs> the Bears. The, Bears. <laughs> the Vikings. No. 
think teams that are close. Bears was actually a good guess. It's Chicago. Um, teams? Are- actually, no. Don't think teams that are close. For some reason, they're just not accurate at all. Ignore that, what I just said. Well, then- Who do the Colts play a lot? Because they play... So you play each division team twice. I know. I know. I knew don't that. Say, don't say I know when you couldn't name a division. I'm trying to help um, you. Uh, who do the Colts play? I went to a game last year. Mm-hmm. I went to the, a big game. I went to their last game. The Yeah, who they play there. They're in the division. Team, a team in Texas. The Titans. In Texas. It's a huge giveaway. Long. Oh. Texas. Take out the S, add one letter in between the A and the Texans. S. Texans. The Texans from what city? Houston. There we go. There's one division team. That's division rival. Probably the favorite to win okay, that division. What's the this name year. of the division? The AFC South. Oh, well, I could have come up with that if you just told me they were Cardinal Directions. Right, sorry. Um, NFC North. The Cardinals. What? division afc south no damn it all right let's just we'll start with the afc north okay wait is this what you were going to do yeah oh we're gonna go through each division. I, I really just fell right into that trap yeah okay well well i wasn't gonna have you name each team because that's gonna we could be here a long time yeah, but i'm gonna give to you the teams and just anything that stand out afc north we okay. have the Bengals. okay the steelers the cincinnati Bengals. cincinnati Bengals. The Chicago Bears. Nope. I thought you just said the Bears. I said the Steelers. Oh. The Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh Steelers. Steelers, The Ravens. Baltimore Ravens. And the Browns. The Chicago... Cleveland Browns. There we go. All right. What what do we think? What do we think is going to happen in that division? Well, the Browns are really bad. Usually. Historically, yes. And they may struggle You don't hear much about them. Yeah. This division is very good. So all four teams are pretty solid. Okay. The Browns are probably the weakest on paper. Do we have a friend who's a Steelers fan? Um, No. I don't. Okay. Well, my friends are your friends. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have many others. <laughs> um, so I would say the Browns are probably on paper the favorite to end up last in the division. But okay. they're a very good team. Like Their defense is very solid. Okay. I feel like the Steelers are good. Steelers are good. They have a new quarterback, Ooh. Russell Wilson. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. That was going to be like a young quarterback. That's a fair reaction. Russell to that, Wilson's actually. old. He is. Very. He's married to Sierra. Is fact. Sierra. I don't know what is into you. This today. beat. Is, did you know where I was going with no. that? No. Okay. I, I would like I, to keep I going. I told you, I'm just a little bit hungover. Okay, fair enough. And, and then we have the, the Ravens who won this division. The Baltimore last Ravens. Year. Yeah, I can't believe they're playing the Chiefs. <laughs> Crazy. You don't have to pretend to be excited. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? It's more fun that way. No, but okay. And then there are uh, the other team is the Bengals. Okay, so <coughs> <laughs> Take your time. I'm a little bit confused why they're playing the Chiefs if they're not in the same division on the first game of the season. So they usually don't start out with a division game. Division games are very important. Oh. So week one is usually not. Divi- Sometimes it is. It's kind of, it can be, but division games usually are towards the end of the season. You know what I don't think is fair? What? I think every team should have to play every other team. Then there'd be 31 weeks of the season. Right, but how can you actually put some teams in the Super Bowl, put some teams in the Super Bowl, okay. if they haven't beat every other team i like where you're at because this that doesn't feel fair this comes down to there isn't a committee that picks the two super bowl teams right so they're they have the there playoffs isn't? there is not so you have to play the games you have to keep winning to make the super bowl now I they used that. to do this in the bcs for college football they would have all the teams play 12 yeah. weeks and then they would pick who they thought was the best two teams which, oh, that doesn't that, seem fair either, So then though. they switch it to the playoff system. Now, college football, this year they have 12-team playoffs, so then they have best teams. They still have to pick the 12 best teams, but at least those 12 teams get to play and settle it on the field. Okay. I like where your head's at, though. I so, feel like you took what I said and didn't really listen. No, I'm listening, but they do play. 
But they like they don't play every team. Yeah, but teams play other teams, and then so I know, but that doesn't show how they'll perform against a certain team. But I think a seventeen game <sighs> schedule is enough to settle who it should be in the conversation. Okay. And then that that conversation is the playoffs, and then from there. Okay, give me the next division. Okay, well, who, who's your prediction on winning the AFC North? The Ravens. Ravens, repeat. All right, AFC South, hometown. We got the Indianapolis Colts. The Texans from... We are not even in the South. That's a fair point. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. The divisions are just... Okay, I think they need to hire a woman to go in there in the NFL and fix some things. I agree. Because what would you fix? That. That? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That and every team would have to play every other team. Okay, so Jenna's suggestions to fix the NFL. Move the Colts out of the AFC South because they're not in the South. And yeah. 31 we should... week season. I feel like we should be in the north. I agree. So thirty-one week season that means Wait, double. Holy shit, that's really long. That means no, double. No, two games a week. Two games a week. <laughs> Screw player safety. Let's just play. Mm -hmm. I like it. You just want to see more ball and a lot more padding in their helmets. Okay, protect the protect yeah, the brains. That's no important. CTE. Okay, I think those are some actually very good suggestions. I know. All right, Indianapolis <laughs> so Colts. I'm suggesting them. Houston Texans. Mm -hmm team down near nashville the titans the tennessee, tennessee titans. titans and then the last one in this division down in florida trevor lawrence it's all about the you uh my uh close the dolphins mm -mm. oh <laughs> what you this city There's another is... team in florida yeah Jacksonville Jaguars Jacksonville Jaguars that's the AFC South for you any thoughts there yeah I think the Jaguars are irrelevant okay I just made that up Jaguar <laughs> <laughs> Jaguar fans are downvoting the sorry. video sorry uh um the, the Colts are gonna lose okay so that's either Titans or the Texans to win the Titans okay Will Levis Old, he's a second year quarterback, young guy. He's dating Victoria Fuller, bachelor. Really? Yeah. Is that public knowledge? It is public knowledge. Interesting. So, shout out to him. She always has a boyfriend. Yeah. Kind of a serial dater. Yeah. So, the worst kind of people. <laughs> All right, moving on. AFC East, Dolphins, Patriots. Wait. Sorry. Dolphins gosh. from where? The Miami Dolphins, pa the New England Patriots, the. I don't know. Another New York team. Do they even have grass in New York? A little bit. To play on? They, they built some, yeah. Uh, it's actually historically bad grass. The Giants. Pe people get hurt there. The other one. Aaron Rodgers, your best oh. friend. The Jets. The Jets. And then the last one, Buffalo. I was going to say New England again. No, sorry. I gave you the, the city first. The Buffalo. Bills. Bills. What is a Bill. I, their, their logo mascot? is like a actual buffalo. So, so I the think buffalo's name's just Bill. Maybe, potentially. I don't. I don't know. Good question. You're asking the right questions. I always do. What do we think? AFC East. What's going to happen? Oh, I just forgot everything you said. I'm uh, just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, Dolphins, Pats, Jets. If Aaron Rodgers stays healthy, they'll probably be pretty good. Okay. Think they'll win the division. Who are the other teams? Bills, Jets, and Patriots. Maybe the Patriots. Yeah. They're probably going to be pretty good this year, right? That's what I heard. Oh, no. No, 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 no. They have one of the worst rosters in the league. Tom yeah. Brady's gone. Bill Belichick's gone. They have a rookie quarterback. Drake Never mind. May. But maybe, hey, maybe you can, again, zig while everyone else sags. And they'll I be good. I always do. Exactly. Always my own person. All right, so you're sticking with the Jets to win that division? Yep, I am. Uh, AFC West. We have the Raiders. Los Angeles. Close. Las they Vegas. Moved. Yes. They used to be in Los Angeles. Correct. They, they moved. Uh, Allison Cooch, her husband, w played for them for a little bit. Did he get picked up by another team no. this year? He's done. He's done. He's done. As far as I know, he could have by now. but I had a feeling he wasn't very good. Yeah. I didn't actually know that, but I just felt it in my bones. 
Um, all right. Chiefs. The Travis Kelseys. Mm-hmm. Kansas City. Yeah. Chargers. You don't need to say anything else. Chiefs. <laughs> okay. All right. Chiefs winning the AFC West. Uh, now we move on. Wait, let's go with the AFC. Go Taylor Swift. So you have the Ravens. You have the Titans. You uh-huh. have you already the said these. I know. I'm just saying who, this is who oh. you chose to win. We already went through all eight. This is no, that's the AFC. <sighs> so you have how many teams are there? 32. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. I have another thing I'd like to change. Okay. Every state should have a team and only one team per state. 50 teams? Yep. But then are you going to stick with your 50 states? Play every team? Then it's 49 weeks. That's the entire no, year. No, 25 because two games a week. Two games a week. 20. They just put their backups in for one game. But I feel like football fans would love this. <laughs> like This sounds awesome. Unrealistic, but kind of awesome. I'm in. All right, so your AFC division winners, Ravens, Titans, Jets, and Chiefs. Yep. Moving on to the NFC North. Okay. Vikings, my team. Okay. Packers. Yours team. Lions. Where from? Detroit. Correct. Then the Bears. Duh Bears. <laughs> Duh, Duh Bears. Duh Bears. <laughs> uh what do you think of the NFC North this year? Um That's it. That's it. Those are the four teams. Lions, Bears, Packers, Vikings. Probably Vikings or Packers. Thank you. I hate when you high five me after I've been holding this because my hand, I, I, my hands get really clammy. Okay. <laughs> All right. NFC South. Wait. Final answer: Packers or Vikings? I have to go with yeah, Packers. Figured wrong. NFC South. The Falcons. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Arizona. Okay. No. Close. Starts with an A. The uh, Alabama. Close, sir. I don't know. Hot Atlanta. Atlanta. Oh, Atlanta. I know. I should have known that. The Saints. Atlanta. Not there's not two teams in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. My I brain could... is mush. Yeah. I should know that. Down in Louisiana. Nope. Nolens. New Orleans. Oh, yep. New Orleans Saints. Uh Panthers. Mm-mm. Carolina. Not going to happen. Buccaneers. Another Florida team. There's three? There's three Florida teams. There might be more. No, there's just three. That's ridiculous. Yeah, Why do they big, get three teams? Big state. Oh, my God. If I lived there, I wouldn't know who to, Texas, who to cheer Texas for. Texas has two. Maybe. That's two. not three. Uh, not wrong. Okay. Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Buccaneers. So Falcons, Saints, Panthers, Bucks. This, I will tell you, is predicted to be one of the worst divisions in football. Say it again. Tam- Falcons, <laughs> Saints, Panthers, yep. Bucks. Okay. Uh, what was the first team? Falcons. I'm going to go for the Falcons. Okay. That's, they're the favorites to win that division. That's a good pick. Mm-hmm. They have my former quarterback. I don't appreciate the tone of voice you use when you sound surprised. Sorry. How, how would you? Sorry. Let's try that again. Okay. Uh, Falcons. That's a good pick. Thank you. <laughs> NFC East. We have the Cowboys. Boo. <laughs> Eagles. Uh Where Golden. <laughs> I don't know. Philadelphia. I'm not good at geography. Right, we're learning. This is this is like uh, let's I feel this is like syllabus I week. Feel like we my brain's go gonna it. explode. We just gotta go through this so once we start talking about these teams as the season goes on, you're like, I got this. Okay. Uh, Philadelphia Eagles, the Commanders, formerly known as the Bleep This Editor, which is me. Red- From where? I know. Nope. Washington. Washington. Washington Commanders. Then the Giants, the other one from. Why can't? Oh. Why can't they be the? But the Chiefs can. More good questions. You know? I mean, I understand that the that the phrase or word is derogatory and discriminatory yeah. and every d atory word all the d's yeah but why not the chiefs yeah 
Isn't Just that Taylor. a Native American thing too? Because Taylor. Taylor paid him off. Yeah. Yeah. She was like, my hubby's got to keep. <laughs> I, she's bought too that. much gear. Yeah. <laughs> she had way too much she gear. Can't she's like, I can't change this now. <laughs> um, all right. And then the last team was the Giants. Which You're going to have to restate all of those. I know. But New York Giants. Yes. I knew so, that. So Cowboys, Eagles, Commanders, Giants. Eagles. Okay. They were good last year. They, they, they've been good the last couple of years. Yep. Yeah. And then finally, strong, strong team, strong lineup, hundred percent. Last division in football, NFC West. Okay, we have the Forty Niners. Nope. San Francisco. Okay. We have the Rams. Los Angeles. Another Los Angeles team. Another. The Chargers. We haven't said them. Well, you said it's over once you said the Chiefs. Oh. <laughs> So we didn't get to them. Okay. And then, uh, so Los Angeles Rams, Seahawks. Okay. It's an alliteration. Seattle. Yep. And the Cardinals. Arizona. Arizona. So Niners, Rams, Seahawks, Cardinals. Who we got? Niners, Rams, Seahawks, Carmels. <laughs> Cardinals. Cardinals. <laughs> um, Seahawks. Okay. So. Your NFC division winners. You have the Packers, the Falcons, the Eagles, and the Seahawks. Now, I'm going to go through real quick and give my predictions. No one cares much about these. I'm going to go. I certainly don't. (laughs) Thank you for that. (laughs) AFC North, I'm going to go with the Bengals. AFC South, I'm going to go with the Texans. AFC East, I'm going to go with. Oh, you're just coming up with these on the fly? Yeah, I'm going to go with the Bills. AFC West, Chiefs, NFC North. Like, I wa- Is that the bad one? This is the Vikings. Oh. I'm going to say Vikings. Who would be your second? I hate them so much. Lions, probably. I mean, the Lions are probably mm-hmm. the favorite to win the division. If I'm, I, I got to be unbiased here. The Lions are definitely the favorite. The Vikings are the favorite to be the I worst prefer in the division. to s- stay biased. NFC South, I'm going to go with the Falcons as well. Trust Kirk Cousins. NFC East, I'm going to go with, this is a disgusting pick. I'm going to take the Cowboys. And then NFC West, I'm going to take the Los Angeles Rams. Jenna, are you ready to give your Super Bowl prediction for 2025? Oh, don't make me do that. You've listed your eight playoff teams, basically, or your top four seeds for each. Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Out of the AFC, you can pick other teams because there's three wild card spots. Okay. So they don't have to win the division to make the Super Bowl, but okay. one just go based off your division winners. Mm-hmm. Who's going to make the Super Bowl out of the Ravens, the Titans, the Jets, and the Chiefs? The Chiefs. Okay. The Chiefs are going to make it. Who will they play? Either the Packers, <laughs> the Falcons, uh-huh. the Eagles, or the Seahawks? The Eagles. Eagles versus Chiefs is a rematch from two years ago. Yep. Who's going to win it? Eagles. Eagles get mm-hmm. revenge. I like it. Yep. All right. Eagles over I think, Chiefs. I think the Chiefs, I think we need to mix it up. Yeah. I'm over it. Script writers. Yeah. Like, it's like, all right. I'm over it. I think Taylor could use some like motivation, you know, some bulletin form too. Like losing the Super Bowl would be good for her. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes like you need a little chip on the shoulder. Yeah. Could be good. Yeah. All that. Do you think she'll make a breakup? album over they're losing never the super gonna bowl. break up i'm not saying they're breaking up but like oh. you think she'll be so distraught over a super bowl there will totally be a song about losing the super bowl for sure okay for I sure i like that uh my super bowl i'm gonna go with i genuinely have not thought about this too much so i'm just gonna go gut feeling again if i'm not picking the vikings i'm not gonna allow myself to pick the vikings out of respect for the show i'm gonna go with the rams out of the nfc not I the really Chiefs. like Matthew Stafford. Not and the Chiefs? Chiefs are in the AFC. And then I'm going to go okay. with, I think it's going to be Chiefs versus Bengals AFC Championship game. I think the Bengals get it. I think we get a rematch of three Super Bowls this ago. It's very long winded. All you had to say was a team. I'm taking the Rams. Okay. Just kidding. Bengals. What? Just kidding. Bengals final answer Joe Burrow gets the Super Bowl. That would be cool. Yep. That's. That's my prediction. I'm taking Joe Burrow, Super Bowl champion. All right. Let's wrap up. What to watch this week. What are you going to be watching this week? Any sports? 
Oh, I was confused why you said watching. Or what are you going to read this week? We can do that, too. Um, I'm going to read the Jeanette McCurdy book. Okay. You're actually reading it this week? Yeah. Okay. Shit. Why don't I just get one copy and you can read it after me? we will do that. And I'll, I'll just take just, really detailed notes. Yeah, take notes and then I'll read it and then okay. we'll talk about it. Cool. Um, What am I watching this week? Uh, I have to watch The Chiefs. You have to. Especially if my girl Taylor is there. You think she'll be there? It depends on her tour schedule. I don't know what that looks like right now. Is she now. on a break She's right now? She's off right now. So I bet she might. I know, but you never know. Yeah. It's Oh, no. It's a Thursday night game. She'll totally be there. All right. You heard it here first. Taylor Swift will be in attendance mm-hmm. for that game. Mm-hmm. Um, I will be reading some of that MCU book that I talked about. I will talk about that next week. What to watch. So I have three games written down. If you're like, hey, I'm new to this sports <sighs> thing. What should I watch this week if I can only watch three? Now, three most sports fans That's are going to- too many. Most sports fans are going to sit on their couch for 12 hours on Sunday and just watch football because it's the greatest day of the year. One of the greatest. But if you're only going to watch a couple, these are the ones to watch. Chiefs versus Ravens. There? All of them? Yes. It's 16. Wow. Because every team plays. Okay. Chiefs versus Ravens Thursday night is on my list. Uh, I have one game that I think is going to go underrated. I don't think people are going to talk about it, but I think it's an interesting game to watch. It's Steelers versus Falcons. So this is going to be my overreaction game of the week because whatever happens in this game, people are going to overreact to. Either Kirk Cousins is going to go out there and look great and people are going to say Kirk Cousins is going to lead the Falcons to a Super Bowl or Russell Wilson looks great or they both look terrible or one looks bad, one looks good. Whatever happens, people will overreact to this game. So that's something to keep an eye on. And then a college football game. Can I ask a question? Of course. Uh, are you doing fantasy football? I am. Who are you doing it with? The boys? I have one league with my family, mm-hmm. one with my friends, and then I'm in one league with a bunch of people from The Bachelor. So um, people from this past season, we're all in it together. So Okay. Um, the one with the boys, mm-hmm. I think you should do like a really funny if you lose Punishment? Thing. Yeah. Well, I think we need. I uh, can I, I start brainstorming because I've sure. seen some really funny ones. I have one, like the waffle one. The waffle house one's yeah. good. Yeah. There's one that the I beer pro- mile. That's a good one as well. I proposed one for our bachelor uh, fantasy group that I think is really good because we're all in different locations. Mm. I said the loser has to hand deliver coffee to first place on their own dime. Sounds expensive. Yeah. Don't lose. Oh. Okay. I think that'd be really fun. So I think that's a fun punishment for, for everyone's in different locations, but we can figure that out. I don't know if we have a punishment set up yet, but normally it's just cash prize for the first place. Right. But the loser but the should, loser have, to should have to do something just because it's hilarious and yeah. then you should film it. I agree. Okay. We could, oh my God, we could do, uh, we could <laughs> film a it. brain blast. We could film it on the show for, for your segment. I agree. And I'm I could in. sit, I'll sit here or wherever it is and I'll commentate. Okay. We'll, we'll discuss what our like punishment that. should be. I hope it's Ryan. <laughs> I don't think Ryan's in the league that I'm doing. What? He doesn't play fantasy football much. Oh, well, then I hope it's uh, I hope it's Drew. I don't think he's in the league as well. Okay, what the hell? Sorry. Anyways, uh, <sighs> love their game to watch. College football. Texas versus Michigan. Two top 10 teams or top 12 teams in the country playing in week two at noon on Saturday. That'll be a good game. Very excited for that one. I'm going to the Purdue game, the Purdue Notre Dame game. Okay, so weeks. if you want to watch Jenna, go watch that game. What? Oh, in two weeks? Yeah. Oh, never Not mind. Not this coming weekend, but the next. Gotcha. I'll remind you guys next week. All right, fair enough. All right, anything else? <laughs> nope. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. See you guys next week. Peace.